Okay, we're going to graph some inverse variations and look at what happens when we try to shift them. Um, first of all, we need to know what 1 over x looks like so we can graph any shift of 1 over x. Um, in order to graph 1 over x, really what you want to do is just make a table of values. Um, what values do we want to choose? Um, how about negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Those are my favorite numbers to choose, I think. Uh, so if we plug in negative 2, 1 over negative 2 is negative 1 half. And if we plug negative 1 in, we get 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. If we plug in 0, 1 over 0, that's undefined. That's where we're going to have a vertical asymptote. That's at x equals 0 right here. I'll just put that in right now. When I plug 1 in, 1 divided by 1 is 1, and when I plug 2 in, I get 1 half. Okay, let's plot those points and see if that's enough. Um, negative 2, negative 1 half, negative 1, negative 1, and 1, 1, and 2, 1 half. Um, I'm not so sure that's quite enough. If I'm thinking about this, what would happen if I plugged in 3, 4, 5, etc.? I would get 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth. So I'd be at 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth. This is getting smaller and smaller, closer and closer to the x axis. Okay, and the same thing would happen back here as I plugged in negative 3, negative 4. This would get closer and closer and closer to the x axis, but never actually touch it. Well, what's going to happen? right here around close to zero. Well, the smallest number I plugged in was one. What if we plug in one half? One divided by one half. One divided by one half is two. So at one half we'd be up at two. Similarly at negative one half we'd be at negative two. And the same kind of thing is going to happen here and this is going to approach the y-axis and get closer and closer to the y-axis the closer you get to x equals zero. So that's the graph of what um, what 1 over x looks like. Okay, so now when we see something over here like y equals 1 over x plus 1, minus 3, essentially I have the same graph that we're looking at over here except it's going to be over on the right um, shifted around a bit. How do, we sh how do we know how it shifted? Well, um, if I write up here y equals k over x minus, well, let's not use k. Let's just do 1. 1 over x minus h plus k. And it'll kind of show us, just like when we did parabolas, it'll show us the vertex form. Instead of showing us the vertex, though, it's going to show us this spot, where this spot is, according to this 1 over x graph. So with our that point being at hk. All right. So this x plus one, that's x minus negative one. So our h here is negative one, and this minus three is the k. So minus three. That puts this spot, this origin spot, at negative one, negative three which means if I took this graph over here oops, and drug it I don't know how much let's see what I can do here and put it right there that would be what my graph was going to look like for that okay so I could plot those same points from that that middle spot you can see my vertical asymptote is at x equals negative one and my horizontal asymptote that used to be at x equals or at y equals zero is now shifted down three because of the minus three in the problem. Okay, so that's what that graph would look like. What's the difference if there's a different number on top? Two, for example, or you might see three or something else. Um, well, let's make a table of values for that and see what happens. If I plug in negative 2, 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. If I plug in negative 1, 
2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. If I plug in 0, 2 divided by 0 is still undefined. If I plug in 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2. And if I plug in 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So let's plot these points. Top one, negative 2, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 2. 0 undefined. So this is where my vertical asymptote is. Um, the next one is at the point 1, 2 and the point 2, 1. And the same kind of thing is going to happen. It's just stretched out a little bit. So this thing, this graph is going to look like something like this. Notice the other one, the uh, 1 over x, actually went through this spot. So it went more, it was kind of more like this. I don't, don't think I did a very good job on that, but something more like that. It's barely different, it's just a little bit skewed. So. I'm going to get rid of that. So this is what 2 over x looks like. Okay, now shifting that to graph 2 over x minus 4, um, where is this going to get shifted to? Well, this doesn't have anything with it. It's kind of like having x minus 0, so that spot's going to be shifted 0 left or right, and then this minus 4 is, is going to be shifted down 4, so I've got 0, negative 4, that's where this graph is going to get shifted to, straight down to that spot. So if I took this and grabbed it and drug it over here, it would be that graph right there.